Hello people, I'm going to try and do this video without getting emotional. Um, with everything that's going on, I feel extremely emotional and generally I either get really angry or I bloody burst into tears with emotion. Uh, excuse me a minute while I get my parrot off the iPad. As you've probably seen, not only have Jada Franson and Paul Golding been imprisoned, now Facebook are banning their Facebook pages. Our freedom of speech has gone. We don't have freedom of speech anymore. If you can still use Facebook, it's because you haven't said anything that they find even slightly too inflammatory or you're just not important enough, you're not reaching enough people for them to worry about it. If you was reaching enough people, I can guarantee you would be banned too. And don't think this is an American thing. This is a worldwide event that's going on. If you don't know, and I'm sure everybody on the internet knows what's going on now, it's they want a new world order, which basically means they want a government, just one government to run the world. Basically, communism where they say everybody's equal. What they really mean is nobody's got a voice, there's no individuality, and if you veer away with what that one government says, they will kill you. Or they will imprison you for life. More likely kill you, because they're safe on food that way. Not that there probably be much food going, going by communist governments in the past. The young people of today are taking us down a shit alley. Because they are backing all this rubbish. But it's, it's hardly their fault when this is what's being taught in schools, universities, colleges. It's being taught by these weirdo, lefty, communist professors and teachers. Don't get me wrong, my daughter and my son-in-law are both teachers. I don't know what their feelings are on things but I think it is very much the old school communist ideals from the 70s and even going into the 80s those teachers professors and they are determined to destroy freedom individuality the right to think for yourself I've had enough, but what I've had enough more about is the fact that everybody just keeps talking about it. Oh, why is it happening? Oh, we need to do something about it. I'm ready to do something about it now, this very fucking minute. But I'm not stupid enough to go and do it on my own. I'm asking people to join together. I've started a group that is asking people to come together. I put my email address out there if people want to contact me privately. And do you know what? No fucker has. Nobody. They'll do their little likes on their Facebook. Brilliant. That'll save the world. That'll save the country. Have you seen what people had to do to keep this world, this country safe? Think of World War One. Do you remember that? Trouble is, most of you don't. World War Two. Probably more of you remember that one. Those people, that they, you had 18, 19, even 17 and 16 year olds laying down their lives for this country, for its freedom. What would 17, 18, 19 year olds do now? They'd run to their fucking safe space and hide behind their weirdo teachers. The only way things are going to change is if we change them. We have to say, yes, it's got to be done by lawful rebellion. Okay, fair enough. Sorry, the parrot's trying to knock my drink over now. We have to say that. Because otherwise the police will be around arresting us. And okay, if we can do it that way, that's the way we'll do it. But these... Protest marches where you just walk up and down a fucking street 
are doing nothing. You've got to have a name. There's got to be an action to it. I'm not talking about smashing up shops. Because what's the point of that? And anybody who just wants to go looting, but you can fuck off. You're the scum of the country. We don't want you. We just want freedom. Freedom to say what we want, do what we want. We have been lied to about so much. One of the biggest liars of all has died for the second time today. Stephen Hawking. Yeah, I suppose most of you don't realise that he had a disease that he should have only lived three years for, and that's because he did. Then they replaced him with someone who looked like him to give all this crap that they give you. They lie about everything. Absolutely everything. When have you had a politician say they do something that you've asked them to do and it was actually done? How many promises are made pre-election and never acted upon? Every time. If you don't know it by now, then I give up with you. I despair. The country has come to the point now where we've got to resist. The ordinary person. That's all I am. I'm just, I'm not an agitator. I was having just a quiet life and then I saw what was going on and I've had enough. I've totally fucking had enough. You think what you do doesn't matter? Well, it does. Because if you go out and do something and your neighbour goes out and does something and their neighbour goes out and does something, all of a sudden, the powers that be, the globalists and their puppets, the government, have got something to worry about. We have enough people doing something, I think the police will swap sides. I'm certain that the army would never turn against the population. We've got veterans willing to fight. Everybody goes on about Islam. Yeah, I hate what Islam, its ideology stands for. But it is the weapon of choice of the globalists. They have chosen to use Islam as their weapon. Yes, they are making the most of it. Those that want the power and the money that goes with it. They're not stupid as we perhaps think they are. But Islam isn't the main problem. It's a, they are a weapon being used by the government, by the globalists. It's not just Islam, is it? They're, they're bringing as many migrants as they can to try and destabilise this country. There are so many groups which are all doing good work, but they're all too small. And they won't come together because they're so fucking egotistical that they all want to be leader. We don't need a thousand leaders. We need a thousand, hundred thousand, five hundred thousand bloody warriors. All we need is one good chief. You'll probably say, oh, what's he shouting? He's losing the plot. I'm not losing the plot. I've just had enough of what's going on. Contact me if you're going to be going somewhere to do something positive. And I will join you. I'm on the Sussex coast. I'm bloody miles away from fucking anywhere. I'm closer to France than most parts of Britain. But I will still make sure that I get somewhere. But not just to march up and down and be kettled by the fucking police because there's only 150 of us. The Football Lads Alliance. The ideal opportunity. A show of strength. And all they did was they just marched peacefully and the government just went, yeah, that's all right, OK, never mind. And if they'd had a bit of venom to that march, they don't need to hurt people to have a bit of venom, a bit of hatred, a bit of solidarity, and to show we mean business. We will not tolerate what you are doing to us anymore. The trouble is, if your life is still quite cosy, you don't care, do you? But it won't be cosy forever. 
And by the time your life isn't cosy anymore, it'll be too bloody late to do anything about it. Get up off your ass. Stop typing on the bloody computer all these likes and I want to do something. And bloody do something. I try and arrange things. I really do. I know it's only on Facebook. But that is because I don't really know any other decent forms of communication apart from here on YouTube. Please, contact me, and I will talk with you, come up with ideas, because I'm not the brain of the world, I'm not stupid, but I'm not the brain of the world. Contact me on Will2018. Now, fuck that up again, and I? Will, BRG2018 at gmail.com. Send me your thoughts, but more importantly, send me your ideas for actions that we can take. We must be going to local councils. Everybody should be getting up on the same day in their local town and going to the council and the police stations and saying we are not having this anymore. And we'll be here every single day. We'll stop buses, we'll stop trains, we'll stop Everything will bring this country to a halt unless you stop taking our freedoms. <laughs>